Okay, this is going to be a quick one to talk about an issue I recently had when I was testing the workflow from AutoCAD to Blender. I was using an older version of AutoCAD 2018 at the time, and I ran into a problem when I exported an FBX file from AutoCAD and tried to import it into Blender. I'm using Blender 3.6.1 at the time of this recording, and as you can see, when I try to import the FBX file, nothing happens. All I get is this error saying the version is unsupported. So I thought I was dead in the water at this point, but after some searching, I found a solution on the Autodesk website. They have a free converter program that will convert your old FBX files to the latest version. I downloaded the 2013.3 converter for Windows 64-bit, but they also have a converter for 32-bit and for Mac if you need either one of those. After you install the program, you'll have this FBX converter on your desktop. And all you have to do is open the program and then drag and drop your FBX file into the source files window, or you can click the add button and browse for your file. Um, once you have the file loaded, there's a few options. You can change the destination folder for where you want to save it. You can also rename the file if you want. You can change the destination format if you want to save to an older version or an OBJ or Colada. Uh, you can change the file save mode if you want, but I leave everything at default. Click the convert button, and when it's done, it'll say it's converted here. And then if you go to the location where you save the file, you'll see there's this new FBX 2013 folder. If you click on that, that's where your new file is saved. Okay, now I'm back in Blender, so if I go to File, Import, FBX, and browse to the file location, there it is. So if you have any old FBX files that Blender won't import, try using this converter. There's a link to the Autodesk website in the description below so you can try it out. Okay, that's it for this one. Just a quick tip for anyone needing an FBX converter. But if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and post them below. And as always, if you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.